Welcome back to the channel and today it has arrived. It's here now, the magnet ring for the DIY MagSafe wallet that we are going to build today. So let's just get started so we can give it away as soon as possible. To the desk. Yes, you cannot take those. They are mine, at least for now. And they will be part of a giveaway on this channel. So we got some wet molding going here. This will dry for a while and then uh, we'll take it out and see if it holds its, its shape as it should. So this will actually be the, be the pocket where the cards are held. So uh, we'll see how it turns out once it's uh, dry. So let's wait for that. Here we have some of the pieces we will start with. I have carved out a little bit of a... Uh, I've now placed them on the case here. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit. I'm going to try and place this as straight as I can. Ah, yeah, magnets are strong. That's good. Let's see here now. Next step will be actually to put some glue on much stuff here so we can actually, you know, squeeze it all together with, with a little bit of glue. Let's prepare everything. Okay, I've roughed up the surface a bit just. Let's now just get the glue going. This is gonna look awful, I know, but it will turn out amazing, of course. Now we're gonna peel this off. We're adding this one there. Let's put this on. this down as well. So, another angle. angle. Maybe that will make this video a little bit funner to watch see it from this angle as well. See, I'm in frame, yes. There we go. I do hope that this frame will actually do what I intend it to, not screw everything up. But I have never done this before, so look how nice it is. So I rearranged stuff a little bit. I think we got it nicely clamped down here. So now we will leave this to dry. Yeah, I'm just here in the mess of everything else. And we can take a look at this one. Uh, this I did yesterday to prepare. I wet molded this. If you do not know what wet molding is, uh, just search on YouTube, you'll find out. So this will actually be the card pocket. Might look all crooked and uneven right now, but it will look amazing when we're done. So while we wait for this one to completely dry, I thought that maybe we should cut this up to size. It needs to be no more than 64 millimeters wide to accommodate the width of the iPhone 12 mini, which I want it to fit as well. So 
So for this precise cut here, don't forget a new blade. case here just to make sure you know how this will look it will be something like this so let's take uh, this one out now I think it has dried enough for us to you know test fit a little bit okay here we go looks really nice it's really it's really a good fit there yeah Yeah, okay, so let's make the hole here. I've drawn a little uh, line there where I'm gonna cut it. actually just a needle on a handle to poke through for each stitch. Preparing to sew. This is one of my favorite parts even though it's tedious it is rewarding to see how nice it looks once uh, all the stitches are, are there. Try and make these as nice as possible as well, of course. But the other stitches around there will be more important for appearances. It is done. No, it's these stitches are done. Stitches are done. Yeah. Like that. Looking good. It's time to glue the other piece to this piece and then complete the thing. So let's glue it. in the desk a bit. Let's put the halves together. I think we are good there. Looks very good. Now let's leave it to dry. Then we will do the final trimming and sewing the last stitches around the whole thing. And it will be done and we'll see how it works. Finally, the glue has dried. Let's take this off and trim the last pieces of this one before we do the final sewing and uh, cleaning up the edges. And then we will be done. And this is ready to give away.
we're getting close. I don't think I will bore you with the stitching on this one. You saw the stitching around the hole here. So let's just cut into when this has been stitched and I'll show you how to treat the edges and then we're gonna see how it looks on the phone. BAM! All sewed up. We are getting there. Let's trim the last edges. here to create a little bit of friction and the beeswax will just yeah be applied really nice and then we take the slicker again with the heat from this friction it will just you know be come one with the leather look at this we are done Okay, so we have my phone here and you can also see the nice patina that I got going on here. This is how it looks a few weeks after the, the video I made where I, you know, patinaed it because I didn't like the original patina that came, yeah, or the patina that came naturally with this new, new case. So here you can see how, how nice it looks. Okay, so let's get the wallet on here. It's really tight on there, so this leather case really makes it super, super secure on here. So let's get some cards in it. Okay, so I'm gonna drop in a few cards here. And what we did with the, the steel plate actually makes one card secure in there as well. But we can add two cards without a problem. And you can just slide them up like this the way it was designed and you can even fit three cards even though it is a bit of a squeeze and uh, to a beginning it will be hard you know to push this up but it's possible so how it looks on the phone alone uh, the magnets are not as strong as when you use the case so that's something to bear in mind with this one but I think it looks really good. But I would suggest uh, if you have a case with magnets on it will be more secure. And you just pop it off and you slide your cards out just like that. So if you want a chance to win this nice MagSafe wallet I made myself, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video and drop a nice comment below. And I will draw a winner. I think we will have to wait two or three weeks because I have so few subscribers and uh, views that I want to give you know people a chance. and. Um, if you win it, I will ship it to you at no cost for you. The most of the world will be fine and it will be shipped to you. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.